Hi! In this video, we'll be going over the progress made in the seventh release of Inventory Alpha. The major new feature in this release is the addition of personal benches for you and your colleagues, making it much easier to find items and work with them inside of Inventory. We have also enhanced the interface by adding more sorting options for various item properties, as well as the ability to toggle what data is being shown when viewing items in list view. Let's have a look at these new changes. A bench is a representation of your real-life personal scientific bench. It's a handy place for you to store items you are currently working with, such as subsamples and containers. Benches make it easier for you to quickly access these items from a single location when using inventory, and also help you and your colleagues find who has checked out an item, if you find that the item is missing from its usual location. Your personal bench can be accessed through the sidebar link, which also includes a counter of how many items you currently have on your bench. You might want to move an item to your bench if you have checked it out from a freezer and are currently working with it, so your colleagues know that this item can be found with you. By default, all the new subsamples and containers you create or import will be placed onto your bench. By clicking the bench's sidebar link, you can browse the benches of users in the same lab group as you. Simply type in or use the drop-down to select the user you want to view the bench of. Note that you can perform all the same actions as in other locations when viewing benches, such as searching for specific items, sorting the results, changing the view between tree and card view, and filtering the results by just mine. In this release, we have added more sorting options to the results list such as being able to sort by creation and last modification date. You can, for example, sort items by ascending last modified date to see if there are any items on your bench that you aren't using anymore that you'd like to perhaps check back in. The second column will automatically show the property you've selected to sort by. We have also made the second column of the list view customizable. By clicking on the gear icon on the right of the column, you can select what item property you would like to display in this column. This is very useful when you want to quickly find an item based on the value of a specific property, or perhaps compare this value across several items. Regarding moving items to and from benches, this works exactly the same way as moving items between containers. Just select the relevant items, then click on Move. You can then choose whether you'd like to move these items to your bench or into a container that's on your bench, to another user's bench, or into a container in the container hierarchy. You might notice that we have completely revamped the Move dialog so that it provides all of the neat features of our main navigation system. You can search for containers, sort them, change between list and tree view, and filter by just mine. Once you're happy with your selection, just click Move, and your items will be moved to the selected location. For ease of use, we've also added a Move All to My Bench button to lists of materials, so that you can easily move all of the items needed for an experiment onto your bench with a single click. That's it for this release of inventory. This is going to be the last release update before our long-awaited beta release on September the 8th, where RSpace inventory will become available to all existing and new RSpace Enterprise customers at no extra cost. RSpace community users will be able to gain access to inventory as well, in the form of a paid add-on. More details on when this option will be available will be shared following the beta release. We're excited for the launch! and we'd love for you to check out this new release and let us know what you think. To see a full list of updates we've made in this release, or to try out inventory for yourself on a test server, you can check out the inventory hub and roadmap that we've linked in the description below. Thank you for watching, and see you on launch day.